You know, out of every game I played this year, Splatoon 3 was the one I never saw myself coming back to. Embarrassing! Oh, bro, this stupid newscast. And remember in Splatoon 2, it would make you watch this every single time you booted up the game? Now you can actually skip it once you get to the, the boring stuff. Alright, so let's just get to the cool part of the video. Oh, bro, I didn't know Splatoon was chill like that. This music is a vibe. Let's just let's just get warmed up in some turf war. I haven't played this game in about, like, three months or so. We do not care. So, I got a little bit of a story. You guys know how I made a video on this game back at the beginning of the year, and was kind of throwing shade at it for saying that, like, Splatoon 3 didn't need to exist. They could have just updated Splatoon 2. Oh, my gosh. Why is my name Bone Her? Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> But like I was saying, I simply bought that game just to make a video on it and throw shade at it, saying, like, they really didn't need to make a third one. But then I kept thinking to myself, I really actually low-key want to get into Splatoon 3, but I just never was able to. But then one night over the summer, I found that groove I needed to get hooked on this game, and I started playing it for a while. Boom, that's first kill, bro. bro. I haven't played this game in three months, and I just got my first kill like that. that this game's too easy. easy. Like, I, I, I bought Splatoon 2. I had, like, 50 you know hours on Splatoon 2, so I am not new to Splatoon at all. I was just never good at it, and I get tired of it after a few games. But, bro, over the summer, when I started playing this game, I was hooked. Oh, that's the wrong button. Ah, uh, pre-fire that there. Come on, drop down, drop down. Just drop right down for me. Drop right down. You're yep, come on, come on. Oh, he's a smart one. He's a smart one. He kind of baited me. Oh, no. Who does this guy think he is? Wait, where'd he go? I actually I lost him. There's a bro up here, though. Oh, we got a, we got a gamer on our hands. All right. Hold on. Let me lock him real quick. Oh, wait, I think he's dead. Yeah, he cares. Let me just get this out of the way first. I still think that Halo Infinite is the best shooter out there. But in terms of uniqueness and identity, I must say, I think Splatoon is the most unique out there. There's no other shooter that has the concept like this. Now, obviously, it's Nintendo, so they got to keep it PG. But they honestly found a really neat way to keep it PG. Hey, we'll get back here. Hey, yeah, bro, you're not him. I see you running around with that paintbrush, bro. But I got the arrow spray. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, he's in. No, bro's literally in. All right, clear out base, guys. What are we doing? We got money on the line. And dude, I mastered all the like new cheeky little movement mechanics of this game too. I didn't even realize that like when I first made the video, I didn't even know that there was like these new movement changes to the game too. So it's literally like now that I'm looking at it and now that I played it more of the summer, it's not fully a copy and paste. It still kind of is. But then again, if you think about it from the first to a second, it still kind of was a copy and paste. Oh, I did get him. Bro, that spray was kind of nuts, bro. He was on the left side and I still killed him. Oh, that's a dog. Look at that. Bone her. I didn't. I don't even remember making my name that. That's so funny. That's one thing that's low-key cool about this game. In Call of Duty, obviously, you can change your name, but I never thought in Splatoon you'd be able to. Okay, obviously, like I said, it's Nintendo, so they're not just gonna have a little squid guy running around with a Glock 9 shooting people. So instead, they did this whole ink concept where you, you're a kid and then you turn into a squid. You're a kid, you're a squid. And it works so beautifully there's tons of different guns that all have their own unique abilities like with this one you get a little sprinkler and then your ultimate ability is like a bomb that you charge up and you throw it like every gun has its own different unique ability it's just so different compared to some of the other shooters out there the 60 dollars price point is a lot compared to when you got halo out there for free but i mean if you don't have access to an xbox pc playstation for like call of duty if you only have a switch bro i cannot recommend this game enough it's so perfect and like they do the splat fest every so often too where you compete and then you like earn rewards if your team wins at the end i was never too big in it i know like some people go crazy like yo bro do splat fest get hype on here too what the frick is that oh he's got the killer whale i gotta skedaddle actually let's just do this make myself a see you later oh bro of course there's an absolute meth addict sniper in this lobby do not mess with splatoon snipers call of duty snipers are scary so are good halo snipers but a good splatoon sniper bro oh you can get killed out of that? I never- I- I- no. No. I've been in that same scenario as that guy, and I was never able to kill the person rising up in the air for the boogie bomb. Oh, I just said boogie bomb. The, yeah, yeah, it's just called the boogie bomb at this point. Boogie bombs is way easier to say than booyah bomb. Okay, now let's send this right over to you. That might be a kill. Yeah, yeah that's- I was gonna say, that should be a kill. Oh, that's a hard-fought win right there. We worked for that. We wanted it. We wanted it more than anybody else did. You can give up these little commandments at the end, too, like if you 
got the most the most splats uh, because they can't say kill it. Get the most splats. Oh, I, lo I love the end zap. Let's run the end zap. So now with this gun, it's literally the the N the NES duck hunt gun. It's like with this one now, when I use my R ability, it's just a it's a sticky bomb. It's like a Semtex grenade in Call of Duty. Now my ultimate ability is pretty interesting. I haven't seen this on any other gun yet out of all the ones that I've used. So you throw down this little cooler, and your whole team can use it, and it gives you a speed boost. Um, I think that's it actually. That's one thing that kind of sucks about this game. Per playlist, there is only two maps in the rotation. The rotations change off, like, every so often. It, it, it kind of sucks, like, having to constantly play on the same two maps. Like, even for, like, the ranked modes. I might dive into some ranked matches after this low-key. Now, the ranked matches aren't actually turf war. There are a bunch of other different modes. Like, there's, like, tower control where you gotta hold this tower and escort it throughout the map. There's clam blitz. There's domination where you control the zones. Those are only in, like, the, the, com the quote-unquote competitive ranked play. Oh, I forgot I have the cooler. I thought I had the bomb for a sec. Oh, there's a sniper. There is a sniper. Back up. Oh, dear. 1v2 action? Oh, no ink. Bro, place some ink down. How am I alive? How am I alive? Oh, my own oh Goodness! This guy needs to get signed a phase for his sniping. Imagine if this kid was in Call of Duty, bro. He'd actually, he might actually be able to one-up Scump if he played Call of Duty with his sniping. Like, imagine if they had phase Splatoon, bro. This would be the youngest phase team. I'm gonna completely sneak up on this guy. Full sneak move. Oh, bro, you just ruined my thunder, man. This is the sniper right here. Let's take out the sniper. I don't know why. Good night, bro. See, when I'm all up in your face, you can't you can't do me like that. You're not running. You're not getting out of that. Once I'm within a two meter radius of you, bro. He's about to spawn on there. I'm about to frick him up. Oh my gosh, it's the sniper. We traded. Traded. That's cool. That's cool. 20 minutes later. Okay, so I was just in a game, but my power flickered. But we're back. And I thought the first recording corrupted. But somehow it didn't corrupt. God is amazing. I can't open it in File Explorer, but I can open it in CapCut. And here we are. If that file didn't corrupt, this video would have never came out, by the way. All right, back to the video. I don't even think I've ever played on this map. This map looks entirely new. So this is Clam Blitz still, correct? Is this Clam Blitz still? I don't know. I can't go up that. Oh my gosh. No, because what mode is this? I thought, oh my gosh, but that was a little too close to the water right there. What am I supposed to do with these? What do I do with these? I don't know what I do with these things, man. They're following me around. Oh, I throw them at the, I throw them at the football. Are you autistic? Oh, wait, I have to escort the, oh my gosh, wait, we're literally playing football. Hold up, hold up. Let me score real quick. Oh my gosh, I actually scored. I just scored. Oh, let's go. Bro, touchdown for the little gangster. So this, uh, dude, this mode's, uh, this mode's actually sick. I don't ever remember playing this mode. It's literally football. He's got our football. Don't let him get the tutty. Oh, bro, there's another one alive. I thought that was, oh no, we're all dead. Oh, wait. No, I do remember this mode. You throw the clams at the barrier so you can open it for the tutty. Retard alert. Um, excuse me, what the actual? End zone's not even there. Hey, I beg your pardon? pardon. How does one move an end zone? Oh, wait, they just scored a tutty on us. Oh, no. Okay, this mo I, this mode is a little confusing. I think I'm understanding it. I don't know, though. Dude, it's so easy to trade in this game. I feel like most engagements in this game usually end with a trade. Alright, let's use our crab machinery. Oh, rip bozo. Eat my balls for my crab. Eat my crab balls. Out of here. Kind of Wait, is there barrier? What am I supposed to do with these clams, bro? I think my brain just committed suicide. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these things. Kill him. Kill her. Kill this guy. Oh my gosh. Wait, Get no, he's getting away. Oh my gosh, he actually did it. Bloody did it. He a <laughs> he did the impossible. He actually got him. <gasps> oh yeah, dude, I keep forgetting you can actually spawn on people in this too. I didn't even point that out. You can spawn. Oh, I'm dead though. This game's this game's ranked mode is way too confusing for me. Just give me ranked turf four and we're, and we're we're straight. Then again, these guys might not be eight year olds. These guys could be in like their thirties. I know Splatoon's got a very 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 weird fan base. Movement, movement, God, camera broken. Oh my gosh, we broke their barrier. That's game, right? We won. I else would it have ended right there. Too so easy. Too easy. All right, let's try a sniper. Let's go back into Turf War and try a sniper. And that's one thing I actually didn't even know about this game until recently. Rather than swimming to get your ink back, you can literally just walk. It auto regenerates your ink. I didn't know that until recently. It's like even if even if you're in a situation where you're trudging through the enemy ink, you will still get ink back. I'm pretty sure. Wait, this map looks sick. I've never seen this map before. Is this like a, a Colosseum map? And that's another cool thing that I haven't even talked about. The spawning system in this game compared from like Splatoon 2 is a lot better. I like that you drop into the 
the map. Because you could actually get spawn camped out in Splatoon 2. Like, they could con completely control your spawn. Well, not completely, because you'd spawn on higher elevation, and you there's no way you could get up to it. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm just not built for sniping in this game. Nope. Bro, I'm not built for this. Bro, I'm not phase gem. I am, I am not phase rug. Oh, spotted. Boom. Oh, I got one. Got two. Wait, mom, get the camera. <laughs> Huge double kill, bro. Wait, hold on. Phase, get the freaking contracts. Wait, what does this do? I don't know what this does. What am I what doing? What am, am I doing? doing? No, this is the rare scenario where I play Splatoon Turf for and I actually don't cover up the turf. I'm trying to get sniper kills right now. Oh, that's the... I'm not built for this, man. I'm so I'm not. Le I'm surprised I got that double kill there. Let me get this guy. Let me get this guy. Bro, he's out of range, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. How are some of these kids this good at sniping? There's no way some people are that good at sniping. That is hands down the hardest sniping I've ever experienced in a video game. My point still stands. This is the most unique shooter out there, and it's an absolute blast. I really only recommend getting it if you don't have like an Xbox, PC playstation that's the other one if you can't play any of the major shooters but this game's still an absolute blast but thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next week all right